Imagine kick-starting your car with a battery the size of a credit card. Or powering up a jet engine with a paperback-sized power unit. Or imagine your smartphone packed with liquid electronics that reassemble themselves Terminator-style into an altogether different electronic gadget. Science fiction? Not anymore. It's becoming a reality right here at RMIT. Hello, I'm Margaret Gardner. Not so long ago, we could never have conceived of computer memory that worked without power. Switch off your computer, and if you hadn't written what you had there on storage media, your precious data was gone forever. Nowadays, you can carry half the information you'll ever need in these little non-powered memory sticks that we carry around on our key rings. But what many people don't know is that many of these remarkable portable memories had part of their birthplace here at RMIT in the 1980s, thanks to the work of Professor James Scott. It's the sort of brilliant research that's been happening right under our noses for decades. Researchers and results that we're incredibly proud of, and there's lots more, like the truly revolutionary nanoparticle breakthroughs being made by Associate Professor Karosh Kalanta Zadeh and his colleagues in RMIT's School of Electrical and Computer Engineering. Smear on some cosmetics and chances are nanoparticles are doing their job. They're tiny designer molecules that are revolutionising the way we live. Nanoparticles these days are used almost in any product you can imagine, ranging from electronic devices, uh, paints, drugs, even makeup, anything you can imagine. But some of the most amazing advances in the next few years will be in the electronics nano world. The latest advance is liquid electronics. Dr. Kurish Kalantazada and his colleagues Professor Mitchell and Dr. Koshmanesh have created three-dimensional optical devices in liquid form. The whole idea is based on the concept that nanoparticles are quite light. We can suspend them in liquid. Uh, being suspended, they can freely move. So applying forces, we can push them into any locations that we would like them to go to. This ingenious technology will pave the way for a whole new generation of liquid electronic gadgets that can turn themselves into multi-purpose devices at the touch of a keypad. Devices of the future will require faster electronics. That means making them smaller, down to a few atoms thick. Again, RMIT is paving the way with nano sheets. And when next-gen technology calls for extra energy, the RMIT nanotechnology team has some revolutionary new solutions waiting in the wings. We're talking microgenerators. These kind of microgenerators, I believe that in the near future they'll be using almost anything you can imagine. Even credit card-sized batteries to power up your car, or paperback-sized power units to kickstart a jet engine. And this is just the beginning. At RMIT, continuing research into nanoparticles is taking us into a whole new world of electronics.